All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, as always. I know it's been two weeks. I'm sorry. Sorry for the lack of content. I missed a week. Things have been really crazy lately. Um, I'm trying to buy this route. I'm not gonna say what's on the route, but there's big stuff coming, boys. Um, lots of good stuff coming. Uh, I'm super excited to get this route. Hopefully, it's been in the works about a month now. Um, there's just a lot of stuff that's been going into it, a lot of moving pieces, but we're getting closer and closer. Um, so I'm very excited to start posting about that once it goes through. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe, turn on that bell so you can stay posted as soon as I drop the content about that. Uh, it's going to be fire. Also, I've been reselling some stuff this past week. I've probably made about, mm, about a hundred bucks this past week reselling stuff like some old tables and stuff like that let me know if you guys want to see a video about that today like the title says we are collecting from about five locations um, about a month and a week collection time so there's some ups and downs in this one um, two of my freaking locations were jammed so man it's been a month sit back relax we're gonna jump right into the video first location um, this is of course the place I work at um, they were kind enough to let me put it in their lobby but this collection was about a month and a week so a little bit over a month as you can see the peanut M&Ms and M&Ms were a favorite this month so I went ahead and restocked those and check the mechs to make sure they're working flip the boy around and see how much is in it You guys are looking at right there is $26.50. Um, we didn't pay any commission on this, so it was straight profit. Um, minus probably about five, ten dollars for product cost on this one because I didn't fill them up all the way. Um, this next one right here, we are collecting from comics, cards, and something. And this was actually one of the machines that was broken. Um, the Mike and Ike's, they always seem to fail me. The Mike and Ike's jammed up the third column of this one. So we were working with only a double head really. But with a month and a week, it still managed to pull 23.75 after commission. We left out of there with $21 even. Um, I gave them a little bit more than normal because I figured with the Mike and Ike's being jammed, it probably took a couple of their quarters. So I just gave them like an extra 50 cents um, that's kind of an apology and then I fixed it up. So hopefully when I go collect from it again, um, they're not jammed because that of course eats into your profits. Those Mike and Ike's, it's like a love-hate relationship. If it jams your machines, I mean, not much you can do. So yeah, that was my comic book store. The next location that we are going to be looking at is my pizza restaurant. So this pizza restaurant does really well. Um, with a week and a month collection, like the last time I collected from it, it did almost $50. This month it did, this month it only did $28.50 because this machine was jammed also. And guess what was in it? Freaking Mike and Ike's, again. So, when I walked in the store, I had a huge out of order sign covering the Mike and Ike's column. So as soon as I walked in and saw that, I knew the collection wasn't gonna be as fat as normal. Um, but even with that one being jammed, it still pulled $28.50, almost $30. After commission and everything, we left there with $27. Um, I only filled up one of the columns, the, Skitt the Skittles column probably only spent about five dollars on products there those Mike and Ike's they're a pain in the butt probably gonna switch it with like nerd gumballs or something I'm sure nerd gumballs will be super good in that location 
Next location is a resale shop. I got the location in, I think my last video. Um, so we're collecting from it and it did 26. So it did $26 after commissions. It did $23.75. So, I mean, it's all right. I mean, a month and a week, I'd like to see it a little bit higher. So we'll see how that location goes. Spent about five, ten dollars on product cost to refill. And then this next location is actually the very first location I got. And I haven't made a video about it because I mean the location's pretty slow. It's a very small office. I mean there's not a lot of traffic, so I mean what can you expect, right? I haven't gotten all my locations out yet, so that's why I haven't yanked it. But I mean I didn't even collect from it, I just went and checked up on it. I didn't even put any products in it. It's been about two months and it's made probably ten dollars. So yeah, not very good, but I'll decided to put it in here because um, it's good to see the ups and downs of the vending as you can see machines get jammed you can lose locations there's slow locations there's a lot of stuff you got to take into account all right so for the grand total we made about 114.75 gross we netted 108.25 after commissions and after product costs and everything, we're looking about $90, $95. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Two of my locations are on a two month schedule for collection. I haven't collected from them yet. Um, one of them being the new chiropractic clinic I got. So I'll be collecting from them soon and I'll be sure to post. And yeah, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Um, and subscribe if you haven't there's fire content coming and as always keep hustling and I'll see you guys in the next one what are you doing